Ahlan Sahlan, and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. Intermediate Arabic with your instructor, Laura Al Albani. In this lesson, we'll be learning about comparative and superlative adjectives in the Arabic language. The word we use to describe comparative and superlative adjectives in Arabic is ism et tafdil. Learning Objectives By the conclusion of this video, the student will be able to 1. Form the comparative adjective 2. Form the superlative and 3. Use some new adjectives. The general pattern for an adjective in Arabic is fa'ilun, with fa, ein, and lam representing the root letters and an added ya, fa'ilun. Let's look at some examples of adjectives having this pattern. The word for beautiful is jamilun for male or jamilatun for female. The word for short is qasirun for a male or qasiratun for a female. The word for tall is tawilun or tawilatun for a female. And the word for light is khafifun or khafifatun. All of these adjectives have the fa'il pattern. The comparative adjective or isma tafdil is used to compare two things or to show the highest level of something. Let's examine ism tafdil grammatically. The primary structure of ism tafdil is afalu. We add alif with hamza at the beginning of the word, followed by the three root letters, fa, ein, and lam. On the first root letter, fa, we add sukun. On the second root letter, ein, we add feta. The third root letter contains whatever grammatical marking is necessary. In this case, we've added a dhamma. This particular type of pattern is a diptote, and because it's a diptote, it does not take ten ween at the end, but merely one vowel marker. Ism a tafdil is used for both the superlative as well as the comparative form of the adjectives. So if the same word is used for comparative and superlative forms, you may be asking yourself, how do I differentiate between the comparative and the superlative forms? The answer is pretty simple. If afalu is followed by min, it's comparative. If not, it's superlative. Let's begin by looking at comparative adjectives. The comparative adjectives generally follow the afalu pattern. Regardless of whether the nouns they are describing are masculine or feminine, singular, dual, or plural, to turn an adjective into the comparative form, take the three root letters and add the prefix aleph with hamza. Then add sukun to the first root letter. Let's see how this is done. Let's look at the example. Sagir. Sagir means small. To change it into the comparative form, we add an alif with hamza at the beginning of the word. Then we have the three root letters, sod, rain, and ra. We put sukun over the first root letter, sod. We add one vowel marker at the end because it's a diptote, and then we add min to make it comparative. If the root letters include a doubled consonant, i.e. the second and third root letters are identical, then these are combined in the comparative form and a shedda is added. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's begin with jadidun. Jadidun means new. To make it into the comparative form, we combine the two dals at the end and we add an alif with hamza at the beginning and it becomes ejidu min. Ejidu min, newer than. Let's look at another example. Qalilun. Qalilun means few. If we want to say fewer than, we add that alif with hamza at the beginning and combine the two lambs at the end with a shadda. Akalu min. Akalu min. Fewer than. Now let's look at some examples of sentences using the comparative adjectives. 
In the first example, we have Bilalun Atwalu Min Hamidin. Bilal is taller than Hamid. In the second example, we have Layla Atwalu Min Bilalin. Layla Atwalu Min Bilalin. In each of these cases, Atwal is followed by Min because it's the comparative form. In the third example, we have El Ebna'u Atwalu Min El Benati. The sons are taller than the daughters. El Ebna'u Atwalu Min El Benati. And in the final example, we have El Benatu Atwalu Min El Ebna'i. The daughters are taller than the sons. In each of these cases, the comparative adjective is followed by the word min, which is translated as than, taller than. Now let's take a look at the superlative adjectives. As we mentioned earlier, the superlative form takes the same pattern as the comparative form. However, it is used as a noun rather than as an adjective. It's followed by an indefinite singular genitive noun or a definite plural genitive noun or an attached pronoun. Let's look at an, at an example. Layla hia atwalu bintin fil fussel. Layla is the tallest girl in the class. In this example, atwal, the superlative, is followed by bintin, which is an indefinite singular noun in the genitive case. Let's look at another example. Layla hia atwalu el benati fil fussel. In this example, atwal, the superlative, is followed by a definite plural noun in the genitive case, el benati. Layla is the tallest of the girls in the class. Atwalu el benati. Here's another example. Hia atwalu hunna. She is the tallest of them. Hia atwalu hunna. In this example, atwalu, the superlative, is followed by the possessive pronoun hunna. Let's look at one more example. Layla hia min atwalu el benati fil madrasa. Layla is among the tallest girls in the school. Atwalu el benati. Here, the superlative atwalu is followed again by a definite plural noun in the genitive case. Now it's your turn. I want you to change the following adjectives into both the comparative and the superlative forms. We'll start with the superlative forms. The adjectives that you'll be working with are Jamil, Qasir, Tawil, and Khafif. Do you remember what they mean? Jamil or Jamila for females means beautiful. Qasir or Qasira means short. Tawil or Tawila for female means tall. And Khafif or Khafifa means light. Now pause the recording and practice writing the superlative form of each of these adjectives. Now let's see if you were correct. For the first set of adjectives, Jamil and Jamila, meaning beautiful, the superlative form is Ajmalu. Ajmalu. For the second pair, Qasir or Qasira, meaning short, the superlative form is Aksaru. Aksaru. For the third pair, Tawil or Tawila, meaning tall, the superlative form is Atwalu. Atwalu. And finally, for the last pair, Khafif and Khafifa, meaning light, the superlative form is Akhafu. Akhafu. So how'd you do? Did you get them all right? Now let's go on to the comparative form. Pause the recording and write out the comparative form of each of the four adjectives listed below. Now let's see if you understood how to form the comparative. For the first 
Example, Jamil or Jamila, meaning beautiful, the comparative form is Ajmalu Min. Ajmalu Min, more beautiful than. For the second example, Qasir and Qasira, the comparative form becomes Aksaru Min. The first word, Aksaru, is the same as the superlative form, but it's followed by Min. Here, remember, Min is translated as than. So Aksaru Min means shorter than. In the third example, we have Tawil or Tawila. The comparative form is Atwalu Min. Atwalu Min, taller than. And finally, for Khafif and Khafifaton, we have Akhafu Min. Akhafu Min. In all of these cases, the first word is just like the superlative, but in all of these cases, it's followed by min to make it the comparative form. And this brings us to the end of our lesson. Ma salama.